another time. I went with a friend of mine named Charlie Newton. He had built him a big river boat, and we took off from uh, the boat dock down here in Cook's Inlet. We're going up the Sioux Sentinel River. And he had two 30 horse smirks on that thing. And we made it fine at high tide across the inlet going up the Sioux Sentinel River, having a good time. We had two guys with us who said, we know that inlet, we fished that inlet, we know all about it. And sometimes this old inlet can get pretty rough out there. Anyway, we uh, went up the river and hunted around, and all we got is one moose. We built a big camp, had a tent, and a big fly out in front of it. Rained all the time. We were over there. I don't want to think it came time for us to come back. We started back, but darkness caught us. Right after we left out of the mouth, the Sioux sitting the river heading for Anchorage, where we could see the lights in Anchorage. All right, but the wind got up and it started blowing, blowing right out of the northeast. And we were almost, almost had a headwind. Well, the waves started washing over the boat, and we had two motors on there. One of them was cutting out. I was trying to run it, and, and Charlie was running the other one. We had some five-gallon gasoline cans and the top cut out of them, and then we we were bailing. And these two guys said they were familiar with the sea, mm -hmm. and that inlet, they were petrified with fear. They were just absolutely petrified. Couldn't get them to do a thing. Couldn't get them to bail. Couldn't get them. They were just sitting there, staring into the darkness at the lights up here in Anchorage. Well, you'd be surprised after you have bailed and bailed and bailed and bailed the water out of the boat. How many more you can bail when you think you can't lift another can full? You can, you can lift hundreds of cans. I don't know how many times I lifted an old can of bail water out of that boat. But we finally made it through that storm back in to the Ship Creek docking area for little boats. And I said, I'll never go cross that inlet again on a boat. I'll fly across in an airplane. It's a little safer. We almost got swamped that night right out in the middle of Cook's Inlet, middle of the night, in a big storm. It was quite an experience, I tell you, it was.